Get ready for the thrilling spectacle of truck and tractor pulling. of air has been transformed into the most incredible display of brute horsepower in modern motorsports. Top little supercharged minis and 11,000 pound multiple engine drag rails. From the dirt and grime of mud racing to the uncontrollable horsepower of the monster trucks, it's the most powerful sport on earth. And it's back on the all new power tracks, bringing you the best of the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Sit back, buckle up, and get ready for the Battle of the Big Guns. Hi, everybody, and welcome to cold, snowy St. Paul, Minnesota, where tonight we've got the TNT Monster Truck Racing Winter Nationals, including four-wheeler ATV. It's cold outside, about minus 10 degrees, but inside here at the St. Paul Civic Center Arena, the action is warming up. It's going to be quite a show. Stay tuned for the TNT Monster Truck Nationals. Bigfoot will be our number one qualifier. Let's see what he does right now. All right, Bigfoot, the monster truck, the number one monster truck in the world today. There are seven Bigfoots, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Chandler, the owner of Bigfoot, is here tonight at the St. Paul Civic Center. Rich Hoosier is doing the driving. Here he comes. Rich Hoosier going on Bigfoot. There he He's coming down. Now he's heading out of the mound of dirt. This is really tough. And you can see he got over pretty fast. The time for Bigfoot, 10.37 seconds. Bigfoot in the lead at 10.37 seconds. King Kong has to beat that. Look at King Kong go. Look at him go. Hey, that's a great run. King Kong is really bouncing around. Really bouncing around. It's going to be a good time. The most famous trucks in America today, the Grave Digger. Now, this is crazy. The Grave Digger is a Ford panel van. I've seen him race many times, and I'll tell you, he can go nuts. Let's watch him. The Grave Digger from Chesapeake, Virginia, Dennis Anderson. Get your cameras out, everybody. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thrill. He goes nuts. Here he goes. He almost flipped it over, ladies and gentlemen. We thought disaster was just about ready to happen. He has the fast time now. Dennis, you have taken the lead in fast qualifying at 9.53 seconds. You got to be a little nervous on that run, however. Yeah, it's a brand new motor, and I really don't know how to drive it that good yet, but seems like the motor's doing real well. All right, what do you think your chances are once we continue along and you get into the heat? Uh, as long as I don't have any breakage, I stand a real good chance. All right, who do you consider your toughest competition? Uh, I would say it would be Bigfoot. Are you going to drive like this as we go on tonight? Yeah, I'm going to have to. All right, did, win. did you think you were going to roll the truck over? Uh, yeah, it kind of got tight there for a few minutes. <laughs> All right, don't scare us anymore tonight. Let's give him another round of applause, everybody. Dennis Anderson from Chesapeake, Virginia, the grave digger now. So far, the fastest qualifying run here tonight. Boy, that's wild and wooly, huh? TNT's World of Power roars into your living room with explosive home video action. It's the stars of the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Series, plus the country's hottest and meanest car-crushing monster trucks, and the crime and glory of mud racing, all on one VHS video cassette. Send checker money order for $24.95 to this address, or charge it to your Visa or MasterCard by calling 1-800-227-3167. Once every four years, something happens in this country. Once every four years, the Olympics come to America. And once every four years, we all come together. Budweiser is proud to help bring the Olympics to America. Good picture. And Americans, closer together. Hold it. 
good. Ho, ho, ho. So you're going to finally meet Cindy, huh? Tonight. Good. So first impressions are very important. I think. Okay. Now, imagine. Lights are low, the music's soft. Knock the door, the door opens up. Somebody's out there doing this. What is this? She's got dandruff? No, you have dandruff. No. Yes, you do. I shampoo every day. You shampoo your brains out with regular shampoo. shampoo wouldn't matter. Your brains out? Yeah, well, so use that. Head and shoulders? Works for me, my friend. But you don't have dandruff. Exactamundo! Head and shoulders. <laughs> because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Billions of miles and billions of cars, more of them every year. They're riding on Kendall Motor Oil, that's what I hear. Every year, people like racing champion Big Daddy Don Garlitz rely on the protection and quality of Kendall Motor Oil. Don Garlitz and Kendall Motor Oil, year after year. Kendall, protection worth its weight in gold for more than a hundred years. Here on the floor of the Civic Center, now things are going to begin to heat up just a little bit. Going to be going wheel to wheel, side by side racing action. Most of them were fairly quick over the trucks the first time, but that was strictly for time. Now, if they want to advance and continue on to determine who our winner is going to be, they've got to win the heat. I would say that Jeff Dane out of Colleen, Texas, the way he drives, a madman may have a slight advantage in this heat. Let's see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Texas against Minnesota. Rick Young out of Prior Lake, Minnesota with Barely Tame, the 1979 Ford. Going against King Kong number three. Steve Dane out of Killeen, Texas with King Kong number three, the 1986 Ford, a 460 cubic inch Ford engine. It'll be Ford versus Ford. A knockdown, drag out battle. Let's turn it on, Minnesota. Let's go, you Gophers, cheer on the Minnesota, and here he comes, they're ready to turn it loose. Here he comes, King Kong comes over, look at him go, look at him go, hey, he's really down, he's almost running. Well, barely, oh, and barely tame has come to a halt on that last car. King Kong number three making it look easy. Did you see the tire speed that he had? He had lane choice. He went for the left lane. We're going to need a loader or a forklift to pick up barely tame. Gentle Ben with Jim Bowman at the wheel will be up next against Doug Spanier in the Master of Disaster. Here they come now. Master of Disaster. The Master of Disaster from Albany, Minnesota. Doug Spanion is going to win it, and he beats Gentle Ben. No monster truck racing is complete, ladies and gentlemen, unless you have the world champion. And that's what the TNT folks have brought in here to the St. Paul Civic Center. It's the one and only Bigfoot. Bigfoot started it all way back in 1973. He's going against Barbarian. Remember, most of the drivers love to beat Bigfoot. Let's see how it turns out. Here we go, Barbarian! Here comes Bigfoot! Look at Bigfoot get up! Red shoes are gone over! Here goes Barbarian, it's gonna be close! Bigfoot hits the cars! Oh, look at him go! Oh, my word! Crushing the cars, heading for the finish line, I tell you! He picked up a lot of time. You gotta wonder if he might have sandbagged the first time through. All right, now we go to Leadfoot. Remember, it was Leadfoot that had all kinds of problems. Ron Dennis from Flagstaff, Arizona. And you can see again, Leadfoot has got problems. Let's give him a nice round of applause, everybody. The Carolina Crusher, Gary Porter, on a Wade Bull, North Carolina. Leadfoot has got all kinds of problems here tonight from Flagstaff, Arizona. The engine is hot. He's hot under the collar. He said, what do I got to do to win this thing? Leadfoot loses the front left tire, and the Carolina Crusher advances to the second round. The Dane brothers have their family here tonight at the Civic Center Arena in St. Paul. They'd love to win this for mom and dad. Two beautifully prepared Ford trucks with Chevrolet engines in them. 
Awesome Kong and King Kong. So far, they're one for one, and they want to make it two for two. They're going against the dot. This should be pretty much a hands-down win for Awesome Kong number two. Let's see what happens. There you go. And they're on their way now. Here they go. Awesome Kong's got problems. Here comes Bad Man. Here comes Bad Man. Look at Awesome Kong go. Close. Oh, my word. It was a much closer race than we had expected. Awesome Kong had problems getting off the line. But he does win it. He wins it by a matter of feet and seconds. Awesome Kong wins it after a slow start. Jeff Dane will have his work cut off for him. Jim Pine for Gravedigger. Why win that? Go. Only a hunter knows the true exhilaration of his sport, the beauty of the land, the test of his skill, the challenge of competition. Hunting is an American tradition and an American freedom. We're working to protect that freedom. We're the National Rifle Association. You can help by calling now, 1-800-422-8900. For just $20, you'll receive the privileges and benefits of NRA membership, including 12 exciting issues of the American Hunter or American Rifleman magazine, $600 gun theft insurance, $10,000 accidental death and dismemberment insurance, your official NRA membership card and window decal, plus NRA's gold-braided insignia shooter's cap. Call right now and receive NRA's 1988 Sportsman premium pack loaded with valuable discounts and rebates on hunting shooting and sporting equipment call now join the nra and help preserve our hunting traditions espn is now the proud home of motor week illustrated america's first and foremost weekly racing news show keep pace with the racing action on television's fastest half hour if it goes fast catch it on motor week illustrated the Dane brothers from Colleen, Texas, are looking awfully good. But remember, the Gravedigger now is going to move in on this next round of heat. King Kong now going against the master of disaster. King Kong 3 being driven by Steve Dane, the master of disaster. Doug Spanion out of... Albany, Minnesota, the 1984 Chevrolet. Texas against Minnesota. Here we go. They're off and off. Here comes King Kong number three. There he goes. King Kong number three. Up and over. On over, over here. Goes past the fast. There they go. King Kong three continues on. King Kong 3 looking awfully strong in front of his family here tonight at the St. Paul Civic Center for TNT Monster Truck Racing, brought to you by Red Man Chewing Tobacco. Here comes Bigfoot going against the Carolina Crusher. Now this on paper would look like a one-sided match. Gary Porter driving the Carolina Crusher is going against the legend. However, crazier things have happened in monster truck racing. Anything can happen to monster truck racing, and it looks like now big.